So here we have the Honda Jazz 1.3 EX Automatic. I'll show you the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The seats are as good as new. There's loads to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and then on the far right-hand side, we have the fuel gauge and trip computer, which also includes the, include, sorry, the total miles on this car of 5,631. You can change information that's displayed above that by using controls on the steering wheel. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls, phone controls as well as uh, voice activation at the bottom there so if you hit that button and ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket and on the right hand side we have cruise control with speed limiter underneath which we've got buttons to change the information on the trip computer for this car just behind the steering wheel you can see these paddles the minus and then the plus on the other side that is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox over in the centre we have the touchscreen uh, entertainment system. Uh, this is also where the satellite navigation is housed for this car. There's a full video showing this working on our website which is well worth checking out. If we press the home button up here it takes us back to the main menu where you can pair your phone amongst other things. If we go to audio uh, on the bottom left hand side there you can see all of the different ways in which we can listen to music on this car. There are plenty of them. So medium wave, long wave uh, and FM radio as well as DAB digital. There's a CD player, USB input, iPod connection, we've got Bluetooth audio and HDMI input. So say, lots of ways to listen to your music. And the other thing that you get come up on this screen is the reversing camera for the car. So it's a full color camera with the guidelines showing you where the car is headed in relation to the image that you see behind you. And we can pop the car back in park, it takes us back to the screen that we were on previously. Below that, we have the climate control. So you can adjust the temperature for the car the fan speed, all from here. So if we turn the fans up, we can turn the temperature down. That button will turn the air conditioning off or back on again. Or you can hit auto and the car will maintain 18 degrees uh, by taking control of the fan speed itself. And you can override that at any point in time you wish to by readjusting the fan speed accordingly. We have rear heated screen and mirrors. That button there will send the uh, car's air conditioning to the front screen to demist that uh, in the most efficient way that it can. To the right hand side of that, we have this button here. This starts and stops the engine. So all you need to do is make sure that you have the key in the car. So we have down here, for example, and then hit that button. Below the climate control, we've got the HDMI input, USB input, and a 12 volt uh, power charging socket underneath all of those caps there. We have the fully automatic gearbox, and to the right hand side of that, we have this button. So this car's got stop and start which means it's designed to cut out when you're stationary in traffic to save you fuel, that button turns that system off. 